Getting some numbers from Morgan Stanley at the moment. Fourth quarter net interest income, 2.32 billion. The estimate, 2.5 billion. The all-important wealth management net revenue number, 6.63 billion. The estimate, 6.14 billion dollars. Going through some of these numbers for you, as I say, Shanali Basak alongside us. Shanali, what do you see? I think one thing important here is the fixed sales and trading revenue missing expectations. When you had Goldman just come out with not only a beat, but the biggest jump on Wall Street at 44%. So what are they going to do over there to get competitive and fixed income? The other question I have is about equities uh, sales and trading revenue. You have it come in below expectations at $2.2 billion just about. Remember, that is uh, the king on Wall Street typically <sighs> coming in high higher than Goldman Sachs by absolute numbers, so they still inked out a gain there. But again, why the miss is the big question here. So, uh, you know, kind of mixed results here if you look overall. Uh, the trading desk, obviously, the reason it's important is a twofold question. One, performance in a tough market for equities, but also because, remember, we had Jonathan Prusan over there on his way towards stepping down this month over at Morgan Stanley. Puts a lot of pressure and a lot of spotlight <clears throat> on the other two major deputies here, Ted Pick over at the trading desk, as well as Andy Saperstein over at the wealth management business, as we've been talking about getting more and more competitive by the day.